I've been involved with NCOIL probably 10 or 11 years. I started getting involved when I became chairman of the House Insurance Committee. Uh, I thought rather than going to an organization like NCSL where you may have one topic on insurance, I thought it would be much more important to come to NCOIL where that's all you talk about. Versus, you know, property and casualty, health, like today's drug pricing, all of these things that are important to the consumer today. I come back to NCOIL because it's, it's a forum for ideas, that, for exchanges between legislators without the partisan rancor that can sometimes exist back in our home states. It also is a laboratory. It allows us to sit down with our colleagues from other states and develop best practices, hear about best practices, and sometimes get ready for the debate that we're going to have to deal with when we go back home. I've noticed a lot of changes. I think that being able to have more participants from different um, states has been interesting. Definitely different perspectives. I think um, one of the largest states that has a lot of representatives that we sometimes don't hear from smaller states. So it's always interesting to hear from people from North Dakota and Alaska and Vermont where you would not ever really hear about the legislation and issues that affect their states. So that's been interesting. Just I'm very grateful to, uh, to the organization, NCOIL, uh, for continuing the nonpartisan traditions and for making sure that every conference is a substantive one. I would warn my colleagues who are thinking about coming, this is not a junket. We work hard here. <laughs>